For the next five episodes, I'm going to be talking about the five U.S. manufacturers that have been approved to supply drones to the Department of Defense. This week, Parrot. Now, in August of 2020, the Department of Defense approved five U.S. manufacturers to supply drones to them, and not one of those was a Chinese firm. Let me read the statement from them to you. The announcement is the culmination of an 18-month effort with Defense Innovation Unit initial work supporting the U.S. Army's short-range reconnaissance program. The SRR program is developing an inexpensive, rucksack portable, vertical takeoff and landing small unmanned aircraft that provides a small unit with a rapidly deployed situational awareness tool. So that's what these five manufacturers have developed and proposed to the Department of Defense. So each week for the next five weeks, I'll pick one of those. Today, we're going to talk about Parrot. Now, didn't I say U.S. manufacturers? I did. Is Parrot a U.S. manufacturer? Well, technically, they're French. But as part of their agreement, they promised the Department of Defense that they would manufacture this Anafi USA in the U.S. And they've set up manufacturing facilities in Massachusetts to handle that production. So what's Parrot's story? Well, back in 2010, they came out with one of the first marketable drones, and they played around in the toy market for a number of years. But about 2019, they decided to exit the toy market and concentrate more on commercial. And why did they do that? Well, because of DJI's dominance in the field. They currently produce the Anafi, the Anafi Thermal, and now the Anafi USA. Now, there's tons of other reviews online on YouTube, and I'm not going to go into a great bit of detail, but I do want to give you the general specifications and then the applications for these drones. The Anafi is equipped with a 4K camera, a FLIR boson thermal camera, a 32 times zoom. It's very ruggedized. It's a very beefy kind of drone. And it's IP rated. If you don't know what IP means, it's ingress protection. And they have an IP53 rating. The five means it's dust resistant. And the three means that it's water resistant. So it can actually fly in inclement weather. It deploys in less than a minute, has a 32 minute flight time, can communicate over six miles can sustain up to 33 mile an hour winds. And the big one for me is no geofencing issues. You know, I complained about that a few weeks ago. So this will fly anywhere, anytime, as long as you've got authorization to do it. No obstacle avoidance. Now that's interesting, right? All the Mavics have that. But why do you really need it? It's good for new pilots. But frankly, in my personal situation, once I'm flying and used to something, I turn that off because it kind of gets in the way. So I don't think that's a downside. What's the cost? Well, the cost is $7,000. Pretty steep, but you get a lot for your money. Now, some of the uses. How about search and rescue? Can detect people up to two kilometers away during the day and 150 meters at night. Military. Well, they're already providing to the military, so we know they use that. Law enforcement's a big one. They actually say it's undetectable up to 130 meters. And I just had a couple of recent students there were law enforcement people getting ready to retire, forming their own investigative firm, and they've just ordered one of the Anafi USAs. So they see a reason to use it too. How about building inspection? Great use there. You know, thermal imaging, nail patterns, anything you want to look at, water ingress, lots of good choices. Power line inspections, solar panels, towers, and the one that really cracked me up in their website, they say volcanoes. Now, we've had a lot of volcano activity in the last couple of weeks and some dramatic drone shots, but I don't know why that would be a key for you. I don't think there's many volcanoes in Florida where I care to use one. Fire departments, public safety, worksite inspection, construction management, and even wildlife inspection. So would this type of drone fit into your workflow? Well, at 7000 bucks, that's a pretty big bite to take, isn't it? There is an option, though. I mentioned the Anafi Thermal. Now, that's a smaller version of the USA, not as ruggedized, only has a 3 times zoom versus a 32 zoom, 
little lower quality FLIR thermal camera in it, but still very, very good. And you can get a kit there for $1,900. So that may be something worth considering too. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know this was a short one today. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. That way I can let you know about future videos. And if you would like for me to feature one of your videos in a future episode, please send it on. I'd be happy to do so. And as always, thank you for watching.